The return to some sort of normality is beginning, but as Mintel Consulting's senior trends consultant Richard Cope explains, work time and downtime may never look the same again. As local authorities estimate that to comply with social distancing, they will only be able to carry up to 15% of their normal passenger loads on public transport, commuters will seek alternatives. For some, the car will become a safe haven, but many are expected to turn to cycling and walking, as this also provides exercise, something that was a high priority for consumers during lockdown. This will be encouraged by city authorities keen to reduce congestion and pollution with Paris and Milan expanding their cycling capacities, whilst London's streetscape plan will also provide more areas for cycling and walking. Pandemic-proof offices will look very different with temperature checks, digital immunity checks and socially distanced desks. Meetings may be held outside or with protective screens between staff. Previous office staples such as communal meeting spaces, relaxation areas, cafeterias and gyms will look dangerously out of place. With a huge increase in people working from home during the pandemic, many will question whether we even need offices. Legendary investor Warren Buffett, for example, has warned the supply and demand for office space will change significantly. S4 capital owner Sir Martin Sorrell has said he would rather invest in people than offices and Twitter and Facebook have both said that staff can continue to work from home long term. For those fortunate enough to have the type of jobs and homes to support home working, there will be a growing need to meet, create and relax in third places, away from home and away from the traditional office. With this in mind, the UK's Reboot Digital Marketing Company plans to close its office but hold bi-monthly brainstorming sessions face-to-face -face at a local hotel. This will need to be carefully managed in the short to medium term as leisure facilities will face capacity restrictions due to social distancing. These meeting places will have to offer a form of home-from-home -home privacy as well as proven assurances around hygiene and around safety too. And the desire among home workers to socialise is also set to benefit their local economies, especially in their retail, food service and leisure sectors. And this shift in spending will come at the expense of city centre chains and perhaps at the expense of cities in general, if predictions around post-COVID-19 deurbanisation come true. To find out how Mintel Consulting can help your business get a closer understanding of consumers, please contact consulting emea at mintel.com for more consumer research and analysis on the evolving COVID-19 pandemic visit mintel.com